Hello and welcome to Archaeologists Anonymous. I'm your host, Sean Sylvia, and today we're talking about the question, in archaeology, when is digging up a body grave robbing? Hmm. Okay, so a team of archaeologists is excavating a site when all of a sudden they find some bones. And after taking a closer look, they realize that these are part of a human skeleton. Spooky, scary skeletons and when you're out in the field, the odds of digging up human remains are greater than zero. And if you're excavating at a tomb, they're almost 100%. Now, depending on where the different people in the archaeological team are from, and what country they're currently in, the reactions to digging up a body can be very different. Some people are excited, some people are disgusted, and some people are passionate that the body should stay where it is. This begs the question, is pulling up human remains a highly disrespectful form of grave robbing, or is it a perfectly normal way to study the past? And can a body be in the ground long enough that something moves from one category to the other? And how long do you have to wait before digging people up? Well, S Senator, this is actually a very important question, and I'm glad you brought this up. First, let's hear from the dig-happy side of the debate, who think that it is a perfectly normal way to study the past. Okay, so first, we on the let's dig up bodies side of things would like to establish that there are some fields where this isn't really a problem, like classical archaeology. You know, it wasn't an issue when they found a ton of bodies at Pompeii or Herculaneum. They had been dead for 2,000 years. We on this side of the argument think that a lot of archaeological fields could afford to have this kind of attitude. You know, if a body tells us something about the past, we think that archaeologists should excavate it. To terrorize your neighborhood. And we should study it, not leave it in the ground. With modern technology, skeletons can tell us a ton where they came from, how healthy they were, you know, injuries, that sort of thing. Sometimes you can even tell people's professions from their skeletons. So we on this side of the argument think that with so much to learn, there's no point in just leaving these bodies. Naturally, even the people on our dig-happy side think there is a time limit for when you excavate. You know, a corpse has got to move out of the realm of modern forensic science into the realm of history. It has to be old enough. No credible archaeologist is going to be going around digging up fresh graves. Some of us, however, put that time limit at around 50 to 100 years, so pretty recent. And after that, it's, you know, history, and we can study it. We have a duty to learn about the past, and to wait an additional arbitrary time limit just doesn't make sense. Why can't we learn about things now? We think that it cuts off researchers from potentially very valuable information. Okay, some interesting points. Now let's move to the people who are a lot more cautious about digging up human remains. Archaeologists on this side of the discussion argue for extreme caution, and outside of clear-cut fields like classical archaeology, we think that it's generally best to leave bodies in the ground. There are so many complicated, you know, moral ethical factors to consider that it's best to just leave things alone. And to not go messing around with human remains. Some of these complicating factors include different communities' religious beliefs on how to deal with dead bodies. Another consideration is whether the person's descendants give consent for archaeologists to dig up their ancestor. This is often a sticking point in excavations of indigenous Americans, as it was with the famous case of Kennewick Man. There's also the personal dimension. Would you want a bunch of archaeologists coming over and digging up your dead great-grandmother? And remember, in order to get DNA samples, researchers in the lab have to destroy a part of the body and crush up a tooth or a bone. They're not just digging up your dead great-grandmother, they're breaking hunks off of her. Most people would rather they leave her alone. Finally, for other Americans, archaeologists around the world have this stereotype about American archaeologists. Basically, that we love digging up dead bodies. They'll say, at a dig, do not get in the way of an American and a dead body. They can see our frequent excitement at finding skeletons a bit... weird? 
<laughs> so yeah, basically it's too touchy a situation and avoid digging up them bodies. Okay, so yeah, this issue can get pretty messy. Furthermore, the person who you dig up can have multiple individuals or communities claim descendants, and what different individuals or communities want to do with the body of their ancestor can conflict or change over time, and it's certainly not always obvious what to do. As a result, most archaeologists, including me, lie somewhere between the two extremes of how to deal with bodies, and often play it by ear depending on the circumstances that they're in. Even in situations where it isn't an immediate controversy, archaeologists should always treat human remains with care. That skeleton which in the field might get labeled 10A, 17B, that was once a living person who had a family and dreams and aspirations, just like all of us. Thank you so much for watching, I have been Sean Sylvia of Archaeologist Anonymous. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.